It's 2024 and no one knows about this flying bike glitch for the Oppressor Mark 1 and GTA 5 online. I'm fully convinced this is the fastest way to travel around the map without using any kind of teleportation glitch or something online. Okay, so how do you actually do it? Or well, what do you need? Well, first off, you're gonna need some height. So Mount Chiliad is probably the best place to do it. And then you're also gonna need some speed. So for that, that's why I picked the Oppressor Mark 1 because the rocket boost on the back, it gives you enough speed to do it. Okay, so how do you actually do this glitch? So you want to come to this point on the map at Mount Chiliad. So I just got pestered by these guys here. After I kill them, I'm lining up my bike on the edge of Mount Chiliad. So come to that flag you can see there. And then I'm going to line myself up on this very edge of Mount Chiliad. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to accelerate off the mountain. And then as soon as you've left the mountain, you're going to slightly pull back on the stick, popping a small kind of wheelie. And then that's when you're going to activate the boost. What you don't want to do is lean back too much. So look at how I do it in the video. So you've left the ground use the boost and then pull back more to gain a little bit more height so just start off with kind of like an angle where you're riding up a building that's the first angle you want to hold and then as you gain a bit of speed momentum then just slightly pull back just a little bit more so just again look how i'm doing it in the video i just gradually increase how much of a wheelie i'm doing okay so now once you notice that you're going upwards you don't need to change your angles as long as you're going up you should cover the mountains <laughs> so you should cover those you shouldn't get hit now from here you'll notice you can't actually turn so the direction you're going you can't change from that the only way you can is if you get out of the glitch and open your wings. And so here's actually how you can do that. All right, so here's what you wanna do if you need to turn around, but you get to the edge of a map and you wanna keep going. So I'm really high, you'll notice in the air. So make sure you're got really high, open up your wings, turn around as you see me doing here, and then gain a little bit of speed from falling down and then pull up a bit, get back to that angle where you're riding up a building. And then slowly you'll notice you're gaining speed again, you're going forward, you can see it by the clouds and just hold this for a while you need to get all your speed back again and then from there just pull back a little bit more so that you're not just going down you're actually going up but yeah this is like crazy speed right here so <laughs> it's a really fun glitch and it's so helpful for um getting around the map but yeah just pull back a little bit more a little bit more and you'll start to see i'm going up here the only problem with this one is i didn't get enough height early enough on so i actually i actually managed to save it but you can kind of see me here i'm like oh no okay i'm gonna hit this mountain but I managed to actually land on like a wheelie kind of thing, angle, and then I managed to save it, so I actually kept it going. But you can definitely make it work so that you can do a whole U-turn and do the whole glitch again. Now, when would this glitch actually be useful, apart from it being really fun? All right, so I find this glitch actually really helpful for doing the Cluck and Bell nightclub business battle missions. So there's obviously those business battles that pop around the map every so often. When you get the one at the Cluckenbell factory, which is like at the top above Mount Chiliad, this glitch is really helpful for doing this because you can come back pretty fast. So collect your cargo. So once you get your cargo, just come back up to Mount Chiliad and then come to the top and then you can do this glitch and you'll actually end up flying over the city real quick. So you can ideally do this mission a bit faster. Now this glitch has actually been in the game for very long. In fact, in its first kind of couple years, you could actually do this glitch a lot easier with like any bike in the game. You could even do it with like BMXs, um, but they attempted to patch this glitch, which they kind of did. And I think they just changed the gravity on bikes. So I think they just increased the gravity or something, but they didn't quite fully patch it. So like, I don't think you can do it on normal bikes, but on the Oppressor Mark 1, you still can. So yeah, they've changed changed kind of the gravity but I did notice on stunt races the gravity is like how it was before they patched it so I think if you want to like do this glitch in stunt races it's so easy you can do it with like any bike and here's some footage of me doing that so I did the afterburner stunt race here and this one's like such a fun one to do the glitch on I do this one with a few mates sometimes and they just get so annoyed at me because I'm just like boosting off flying yeah just load up this race if you want to try it or practice it as well but the good thing about doing it on a race is you can use obviously any bike which means you can actually turn so you can actually turn turn in the air, change the direction you're going in, um, and it's super, super easy. All right, so here we go. I'm just doing this race and then ramp off and look how easy this is. Like, <laughs> basically, 
All you have to do is keep twirling the stick, basically, as long as you're moving, otherwise your bike will correct itself. So you could even just do this if you wanted. Um, but yeah, always circle the stick or just hold it at an angle as if you're gonna ride up a building. And it's so easy. Like any kind of stunt race, you can do this. It's so easy. But yeah, that's the Oppressor Mark 1 flying glitch you can do in GTA 5 online. Super, super helpful for getting around the map and also really fun. You can trick your mates as well. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you want to see more GTA content, let me know by dropping a like on the video and leaving a comment as well. And if you could please subscribe to the channel, that would be really appreciated. I'm really wanting to grow this channel into a gaming channel. That would be my goal. So yeah, I'm going to be posting ideally at least once a week but yeah hopefully you guys will stick along for that see you in the next one